Hi guys, my name is Nolo and welcome back to BN Beats Podcast. I'm here with... Hi guys, my name is Yahoo and welcome to our podcast BN Beats, yes. where we strive to celebrate our passion for alternative beer and alternative music. Yes. So today, special episode. Yes. What are we going to be reviewing? We're reviewing Camden Hell's Lager. Shout out, shout out. From Camden. Yeah, <laughs> straight up. As it says on the bottle, all yeah. the way from the UK. Yes. So shout out, shout out. Thanks for the hookup. You're going to tell us how we got this plug. Yes, this is a special delivery. All the details. <laughs> from Craig, a friend of mine who lives in the UK, in London. And he was like, hey, I watch your podcast. I have this beer I want you guys to review. Next time I'm in South Africa, would you mind if I drop it off? I'm like, of course, that'd be lovely. And when he was here, he got it created to me. So thank you so much, Craig. I yeah. appreciate it. Shout out. Man. And we're reviewing the beer now. Yes, finally. <laughs> I know, he gave it to us a while ago. Not so... Because the thing is that we structure our episodes like way in advance. Yeah. So when we get a beer today, we'll probably only review it like two months later because we already have like preparation for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So thank you. No, shout out, man. Big thanks. And yeah, I look forward to it. So do I. So... He said it's good. And also apparently the brewery is really close to where he lives. It's quite big and popular though. Mm. Like like just from online, it's quite big and popular. Yeah. No, look forward to it. So I'm going to do the housekeeping notes. Okay. Then you're going to do the honors of opening. Okay. So as we said, uh, Camden Hells Lager, uh, straight out of Camden, the UK, founded in 2010. So it's quite, not a baby, but a baby. Mm. So, yeah, the category is a lager. The style is a blend between a Hellas and a Postner because of uh, the yeasting that they use. And the ABV comes in at 4.6%. So that's definitely lager territory, especially if it's like a Hellas Postner, which should be lower. So, yeah, five criteria, as always, it will be the bottling and appearance. We're going to be doing the taste, the price, the availability, and the commercial equivalent. Yep. A bit difficult for us because we don't live that side. I guess, but then but would the commercial equivalent be like a lager from the UK that's also big here. It should be. So like a Carlsberg maybe, which we didn't even like. I'm also like, I have never drank a Carlsberg. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know what would be the is. commercial equivalent. Yeah. Because everything else is like, is from Europe, but it's not from UK, the UK. Yeah. yeah. Carlsberg is the only one I can think of that it's like. And have you tried it? Yo, forever ago. Eh? So you can't even remember. Nope. At least there was no reference. Nope. Okay, for now, we'll just start with packaging. No, we'll just talk about our locals. Yeah, 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 Yeah. actually. Oh, I like the packaging. It's It's so cool. It's so different. Like, it's like... So modern. Yeah. It's got that clip art thing oh, designed. Clip art. And also, did you feel? The texture of the paper. Yeah, right? yeah it's so good. Yeah. That's, That's the, first the first thing I noticed. noticed. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first thing I was like, Me this too. feels good in my hand. You know, when like, I was putting it in the fridge, I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. And then I was thinking like, I hope it doesn't wrinkle yeah, when it we, gets cold. We, yeah, but yeah, it doesn't. It it's doesn't. like really good quality. I'm so impressed. I love the packaging. Oh, yeah, bottle cap as well. Your Camden favorite. Tal- no, always. You always like... like because they put an effort. No, they put that's an effort. True. Like, I re- like every it's the small detail. Every aspect of this bottle was like properly designed yeah. and executed. So totally. Uh, I'm a fan. I'm a this fan. This is very well executed. Yeah, I did a really, really good job. It's a big yes from me. Good job. So we're we doing taste. Yes. So yeah, as we said, it was it's like definitely a giving Posna light. light. Yes, Hellas Posna yeah. light. But I'm I'm intrigued. Me too. It sits well on the side of the glass there. Wow, it smells so good. It sits a bit. So. But it's not supposed to sit for long as a lager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, it's got that light esque. It's like I can definitely smell the post now. Yeah, the post now esque, yes. Okay, I'm going in. Lager esque, yes. Hmm. Mm. I don't know how to feel. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because I'm tasting so many things at the same time. Yeah. I'm tasting a lager, a, definitely. A definite lager. Because of the the dry off the taste. The, the, yeah. And then I'm definitely tasting the pulse now. Yes. What does the Hellas taste like? It's 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 like a lighter version of a lager. So it's like a Casa Light y- kind almost. of. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just doesn't have as much body as you'd expect like, ah, a lager to have. I see. But this one has a lot of body. Yeah. So it's, that's why it's like a blend of, of, of. Mm, so then, uh, yeah. Even me, I'm like, I'm not sure. Yeah. No, it's just this different. Is, this is not a South African product. Yeah. It's like, not for our palate. I don't think it's bad, <laughs> but I just like, I can't place it. You know that thing of like, I don't know what it tastes like. I, I don't want to. 
like slant them in. Not slant, but mm, mm. remember, I, we used to have the difference between the UK stout and um, our stout. Yes, yes. How we say, like, they are stouts. You can definitely taste them. But, but like, you can taste that they're very the different. One is just very light, yes. and drinkable, and then the other is just, like, got more body. And yes. Yeah, I'm getting, like, a light version of a log. I mean, it's a post Nahele, so... Are you getting a light version? Yeah. I don't know. The aftertaste is so strong in my yes. mouth, though. So that doesn't... No, it doesn't give me light. It's a UK style bitterness. Yes. Like that bitterness. Yes. Yeah. I like the bitterness, though. I actually yes, realized right. that I'm really into bitter beers. Yeah, because you like pale ales as well, which I'm like... <laughs> yeah, no, for me, it, no. I also feel like the bitterness is like the original beer taste. Yeah, you know no, I mean? no, like in you know, the people UK, like, that's I got the beer. It, it, yeah. It, 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 that taste, like... This tastes like a beer beer. Yeah. Doesn't taste like a craft. Or yeah, like, do no, you know no, what no. I mean? It tastes like a straight up bitter. Like, yeah. I like it. I'm gonna say yes for taste because I'm tasting a lager, I'm tasting a pulsna, and I'm also getting the bitterness at the end that I enjoy. Uh, so that's I the like reason. I like my beer's more rounded. You know, like mm. me and the sharpness. It's just. It is quite sharp though, but it is a lager. No, it's a summer drink. That I'll, yes. I'll say. It's summer drink, very drinkable, but. That bitterness is just going to annoy it's me as the night sharp. progresses. Yeah, it's and very yeah, sharp. For me, look, the execution is good. Yeah. But not to my palate. Okay, that's fair. So, so is it a half then? It's a half. So you're saying no? Let me go in one more time. <laughs> no, 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 because like execution is. It's a well made beer, though, no lie. Okay. Like, no lie at all. No, I'll give it to them. It's not to my palate. Yeah. But the exe- I can tell exactly what they were doing. Yes. I can... Taste the blends between the two styles. Yes, and so on and so which forth. is so cool. I've never had like a blend beer. This is the first time I come across it as it's well. So cool. So mm. yeah. So what are we doing? So are you saying no, Vel? No, no. So yes, <laughs> we, we can we can do yes. We can do yes. There. So it's a yes for taste. Yeah, we, we said yes taste. Bottom appearance, we were happy. Yes. Price. Hey. So we got this for. F- yeah, we got it as a gift. Free, as a gift. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to look it up. Yeah. Online. So we got this as a four pack. Yeah, it comes so, in a four. Yeah. So how much would you? Okay. Wait. Also, how many moles is this? It looks up a bit bigger than a three hundred. Uh, isn't it three forty? Looks. Why am I not seeing it? I'm struggling to find it as well. Oh, three thirty. Three thirty. Yeah, it's in the front. Where? There. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's three thirty. So it's, it's it looks bigger. I don't know. The bottle looks mm. wider. Yeah. No, it's 3.30. So, 3.30. Okay, because I always want to know, like, am I getting bang for oh, my buck? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. How what's much the you, quantity? How much are you buying? Mm. So, we got this in a four pack. Okay, and it is in pounds. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> let's just, we will do the conversion. Yeah, so yeah. If, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, so that we a, need to take that into consideration. Yeah, import, what, what. So, you're getting four beers. But also, this. like, if you buy it that side, obviously. Yeah. Like, that's the... Yeah. Because you can't... Yeah, because yeah. I looked this up online, so I saw the price and I just did yeah. the conversion. Yeah. Is, so equivalent to our like currency. a four pack, a lager. I'm yeah. gonna go for a hundred rand. Okay, if so you convert it, whatever. Yeah, yeah. hundred rand. So the online price that you can buy and maybe ship to us would be it comes in twelves. Okay. So you're gonna have to like split that into three. It was okay. like okay, I'll tell you, it was eighteen pounds, which is like three sixty. For twelve. For, for twelve. So okay. to get four is a hundred and twenty. Okay. Yeah. Is this buying it straight there? Yeah, when you're like in the UK. The before you ship it to you. Yeah. But it's guys mara UK ya dura <laughs> Dude, like, like life even, is even just thinking about pounds, I'm just like mm. life is expensive. I would say because it's in pounds and you, we converted it. Yeah. It's a yes for price. I thought it would be lower because you know that these guys got bought out. By Heineken. No, by the other guy. A B and V. Yep. Really? Yep. In twenty fifteen. Oh, okay. So then they should be cheaper. That's what I'm shocked by. Because if you massly distribute like now you're like being distributed like okay, I'm not sure if they're doing like the mass yet. Yeah. But because they are styled as like an artisanal craft, still in Camden town. Yes. They are very like Camden represent. Yeah, but they got such good backing. I was expecting like one twenty is a bit steep, guys. For dude, like everything in the UK is expensive. I'm like learning. that's the first thing I'm thinking I'm about. Learning. I'm just like, yeah. for me, I'm thinking one twenty is normal. Do you get me? Like ah, that side. Yeah, because okay. I'm thinking like, how much is even like a beer on tap that side? Like everything is I expensive. Wonder. Okay, so but to me, if, if they're gonna bring <laughs> this South here, African, yeah, if, I get you, you. if you guys bring this here at one twenty, it's a no. Normal. Okay, that's fair. That's like. Yeah, that's what that's being beats math. Sorry. No, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, because like, also people who 
I mean, we are in South Africa. Yes. So and we're reviewing for the South African market yes, predominantly. Yes. So, yeah, for our market, 124, four pack of. Okay, if it was a six pack. <laughs> you mean? I'm like a four pack of for 120. For a lager, especially. But um, it is a blend. No, no, no. It's, it's a great blend. Well, you know, depending on your palate, but it's unique, it's different, so on and so forth. But 120 <laughs> for a four pack. You know, the only reason I'm saying yes is because pounds are... Kitty pounds. Oh, yeah, because of like... I'm just thinking yeah, yeah, yeah. pounds, pounds, pounds. That's the only reason. Yeah. No, because also a craft. But I'm like, guys, you guys got such good backing now. You can afford yeah. to... Yeah. Lower your prices. Yeah. Okay, fine. Based on your... You've convinced me okay. to know. <laughs> if it was a six-pack, it would have been would've a yes. Been, okay. Yeah, they're getting there. Yeah. So if you're going to like port this to our... like market you just gonna have to address the price the a pricing. little bit yeah, yeah. especially because we're a lager drinking country definitely and our lagers aren't expensive so, yeah yeah we've smashed those like yeah so uh commercially, commercially equivalent, equivalent. kind of really we don't yeah, know we said Carlsberg. yeah i think we're gonna have to get they're it, gonna get it cause cause it's so also it's a blend i've blend. never had a blend yeah this is new to us so, so. i'm gonna have to say yes for commercial yeah. equivalent availability in the UK, maybe it should be. <laughs> you don't know. I mean, we got it. Yeah. So. And apparently, it is like massively produced in the is UK. Is it like one of those? Yeah. Apparently, it's like it's like a local beer. Because oh, yeah, it is yeah, a Camden, yeah, Camden beer, and if you are in Camden, town, it's yeah. like buying a CBC in in Cape Town. Ah. Uh, you know so what I mean? That region. It's yeah. Just it's like, like this is so easy for them to get. No. Yeah, so. so I would say yes for availability in Camden in the UK, <laughs> but Cause no. It's, it's for us, yeah, because for us it's like, yo, good luck trying to find this. Yeah, exactly. But, but guess, also like... The UK, just you, tell us. Yeah. If you're watching from the UK, mm. big homie that hooked us up, yeah, he Craig, can tell yeah. us, like, Craig, yo, please tell us. how available is it? Are we gonna yeah. give, must we give them a provisional yes because we don't know? Yeah, I'll say yes. Yeah, every time we don't know, For we that give side. you yes. Yeah, every time we don't know, we give <laughs> yeah, you yes. Yeah, because we can't say no. And yeah, then, and then they're like, ah, you guys yeah, are talking li- like rubbish, lying. rubbish. This is available. You guys didn't do your research. <laughs> so, uh, but it looks very available. Yeah, even on like online and stuff. I like the fact that they support um Arsenal women's soccer team. They do. I'm they like, do. that's so cool. Official sponsors. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that. I didn't even know Arsenal had a women's soccer team. No, that side, like, they, they really do push, like, the women's game. Like, I like that so more. much. Like, you should do that. Because even the like, colors one. match. Like, mm. Arsenal kids and mm. so on and so forth. So, it's a good, good match. I like that so yeah. much. I mean, like, the only reason, like, Banyana Banyana ever got created was when they actually won. Won the whole thing. <laughs> yes. You know, just as an example yeah. of how we treat women in sports. But anyway, so I like the fact that they sponsor a women's soccer team. That's no, cool. No, I like that too, man. Because they worked hard to put this together. Yeah. yeah. This guy's like originally like the owner is mm-hmm. from Australia. Mm-hmm. Moved to the UK, started working bars, 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 and he's like, I think I can... when you opened this after ten years. Yeah. So he's, he's like, like no, nah, bro, patience, I can guys. do this myself. No, but I like patience. these stories of yeah. like guys starting out, seeing the market, seeing. Well, yeah, also them. you know, guys starting out, <laughs> starting a podcast. A few what? years later, starts to bring his, you know. No, ten years. Maybe yeah, less. let's mark it. Let's mark it. Ten years from now, let's see. Ten years from now, you'll have a big ass brewery that will be bought out by Heineken. Yo, <laughs> we're all gonna be rich, guys. We're all gonna be rich. I wouldn't mind selling out after that. No, actually. I can imagine. Yeah. Of course not. Yeah, no, nah, that sounds good. So mm. recap. Yes. Recap. Uh, bottling and appearance, we were happy. Yes. Taste, we gave it to them yes. because of the execution. Availability, we said yes because we don't know. Mm-hmm. Commercial equivalent, we said yes. <gasps> Because we don't know. It's just the price we just said. Wow, almost said five out of five. <laughs> yeah, no, the wow. price is just... Yeah. But no, that means they're doing a really good product. Very like, good product. Round, so. Very good product. I'm very happy with it. Yeah. Well done. No, shout out Thank to you Thank you, Craig. And thanks again, actually. Yeah. Thanks again. Thanks again. So to pivot from the beer to the beat section. Yes. So from one Camden Town brewery to a Camden, like, princess mm-hmm. or queen. 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 Yeah, man. Of soul, of jazz, of... Music all round, man. Yeah. Who are we celebrating? Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse, man. Like, we really are going to just celebrate everything that she's done. Yeah. So, she wasn't born in Camden, but -hmm. she moved there from an early age when she got signed. And she just made it her own. Mm. Like She's like, she knows the streets of Camden like the back of her hands. And because, like, Camden then is like a, it's an arts town, an arts district. So, all the artists that want to make it and want to do something alternative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> our a, favorite word. Yeah, of course, that's the buzzword on this podcast. Yeah, so, man, she moved there, produced her first album there, mm-hmm. and success. 
huge like, success. I mean, they even have a statue of her in Camden. That's how much. Which is so cool. Like, you're not from there, but... Even I me mean, also have <laughs> a, a, a statue in, in Mamelodi. Really? Oh, okay, in Pretoria. You, you were okay. born there. Yeah, yeah, you were born yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, once to become an international success. What are you going to be popular for? Let's go out, let's go out. Uh, we'll talk about it Just later. get the statue. <laughs> Just get the statue. I'll be popular for being popular, okay? I've I've seen people that like happens that. like I've all seen. the time. As, as a common no, trend. I'll nowadays. be popular for being a model. Ah, International fair supermodel one day. So are you gonna bring like modeling to my melody? You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's worthy of a statue. That's I would hope so. I would hope so. But yeah, no, guys, look, Amy Winehouse. Um, there's a documentary called Amy. Mm-hmm. Like I really do employ it, like stop this video now mm. find the documentary and watch it well, we'll have it in the bio. yeah like we're gonna put in like the trailers and everything at the bottom links, so yeah. yeah but honestly it's worth checking out because if you really want to understand like the gravity of like how big an artist she was and mm-hmm. how important she was and just where the music comes from because it was very personal like mm. a lot of like personal you wouldn't know but once you watch that and you see like oh this was the boyfriend at the time this is what she was talking about it's just yep. like she put out so much of herself out there, though. She did. And the fact that she didn't even want to be famous, she was just like, <laughs> I just want to produce really good music because I'm not hearing good music out there, so I want to make it. Yeah. That's that, so that was impressive. a killer line, though. Yeah, I was like, yes, you girl. Like, yeah, she's like, dude, the market is just dead. Like, yeah. I'm not hearing anything. So, yeah, man. And to become that famous, well, I'm not dude, even trying. So popular. But I'm, it's just so sad how, like, young she was when she passed yeah. away. 27, I mean, right? Yeah. Because, like, she got signed at 19. First sure. album was at 20. What? Yeah. 20 years old, that was her first debut album. Like, That's crazy. But yeah. it sucks. Like, only seven years of, like, yeah, you know, living your, your dream kind of thing. And the ups and downs she went mm. through. And it's also making that much money when you're that young. Mm. She got, like, the deal she signed was, like, a quarter of, a, of, like, a million pounds. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's your first deal, dude. For like, And she only released two albums. And she was 20. Yeah. That amount of money when you're that young yeah. will just turn you into like... Mm. But yeah, man, please, guys, check out her music. Definitely. Like, check out the, the, the documentary. Like, it really goes deeper into the music. Yeah. And you'll get a much better understanding of, like, why she's so celebrated. Mm. I mean, even Adele still cites her. Mm. Lily Allen still cites her. It's like, she was important, man. She was so different, unapologetic, in your face, a yep. bit crazy. I mean, all good artists are, right? Yeah, a little, a little, I mean... I feel like you can't be, like, normal and be a really yeah, good Yeah, you can't artist. be that chilled person. No, no, it doesn't. You can still be chilled, but not normal. Yeah, you like, there's that, a little bit of a... That bit of, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 but she had it, man. Right? She had it, but... Yeah. Also, I mean, the way she passed on is a bit tragic. So sad. And I think we should talk about it because we do a bear podcast. Definitely, definitely. So, the official cause of death was, like, alcohol poisoning, mm-hmm. which is... She just consumed way too much, mm. and she wasn't physically healthy herself. Mm. Stug- struggled with like bulimia and eating properly. Yeah. So add alcohol to that mix, just doesn't end well. Like so literally not eating and then drink, yeah. drink, drink. So yeah, but look, we always man. advocate for drinking responsibly, guys. Like honestly, we like, are a beer podcast and yes, we do we drink for it. fun. But like, please be super responsible. Uh, yeah. No, like. Honestly, like yeah. we really do mean this honestly because we don't want to hear tragic stories of exactly, this nature exactly. ever again. Because exactly. it's like, because yeah. I don't think people think they can die from no, alcohol they don't. poisoning. I think people are just like, oh, I've got alcohol poisoning. I drank so much. Yeah, or oh, I'm just gonna get my pump, stomach pumped and then yeah. I'll be fine. You can, but if you're in time, yeah. you know, like yeah. you can pass away from that. So, so yeah, moderation is key. Yeah, like Eat enjoy your drink at least. Yeah, you... like live healthy, man. Yeah, work out a little work bit. out. Drink water. Yeah. You know? So, man. Yeah. So, guys, yeah. Check out the albums. Do you have if a favorite you can, song? can, check out... I was going to say Rehab, but that would be so <laughs> whack. I'd be I'll, like... I'll be disappointed. I don't want to I don't want to be that person, but I'm going to be that oh, person. What? <laughs> you know, I actually picked you wrong. I thought you were going to go with Valerie. Because mm. that was a single. It, it was, was a really good song. It was a great song. But right, I don't know, have, actually. Like, I don't have a favorite. Do you? Yeah, no. Wake up alone. How does it go again? Yo, I'm not gonna sing on. No, man, get a I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> Yo, I, even the rhythm throws me, but it's just the thing about it. It's like slow paced, and just, I'm not doing that. Come on, guys. Come on, like nah. one, one, one line. The thing is, it's not even in my head. In my head is the other one in my bed. Okay, which, which one we is were that listening one? to like. Before the episode starts. Okay, also sing that no, one. No, the in my bed, in my bed. 
I'm not doing this. <laughs> in my bed, in my bed. Yeah. Hey, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to the lyrics. So in my bed, check that out. Wake up and watch uh, my favorite. Uh, yeah, no, like both albums are great. Though. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent strong. Like she, she has such powerful lyrics. I can't no, even pick she one. Does. She does. It's she's hard just, to pick one. She's just a brilliant musician. Yeah. Like overall. Through and through. Yeah. I mean, the fact that she wrote all her songs. Self-produced, mm. like sat in the sessions. Yep. I mean, even if you watch her interview, she gets really mad if anybody like misses with a star. fake anything in her music. Yeah. So yeah. We worked with Salam Remy. Shout out to him, great producer. Mark Ronson, also great producer. The Dab Kings, great band. Insane. Just insane. Man, she did a lot. So check out her music. We'll put our favorite songs. Yeah. Down there for you Rehab. guys to check out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Back to Black. You don't like that one? Which one is that? Uh, soak my feet. While I lick your lips. Okay, I'm just saying lyrics now. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm trying to trap you. I'm trying to trap me. I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm trying so hard to get you to sing. No, 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 no. Yeah, check it out, man. Like, check out the beer if you can. If you are in the UK. Actually, the UK, y'all stand up, represent, check them out. Arsenal Football Club. I have to say, I'm a fan. So yeah. Definitely. Why so. did you look at me like that when you say that? <laughs> no, every time I say I'm a fan, it always elicits a response from people I'm around me. Because you're not a football fan. Oh, okay. Everybody else is just like, oh! oh yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. That's oh, yeah. You're like coast. checking if, that, if anything's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, check out the beer if you can. Yeah. Yeah, I wish you guys could check it out, honestly. Yeah. Should they come to our, to our market? I think they should. Just price it better. Yeah. I, I honestly think they should. I think it's just a different kind of lager. Yeah, it could be and successful. And nothing wrong with trying something new. Different. Yeah, so no, man. Hope to see you guys this side. Yeah. If you can, we will check you out. Mm-hmm. And check out Amy Winehouse. Celebrate Definitely. her music, her life. She lived a life, man. She, she did. really did. And she left us with like amazing music. Yep. So yeah, are we... One last thing before we yes. go. So we're going to do this on every episode for this month. Oh, yes. We're oh. going to do... Um, a little get to know me um or in us. December. Yeah, get to get know to us. Get to know the, the team. Whole team. So the whole team. Everybody, all four of us are gonna be sitting on this <laughs> couch yeah. in December answering your questions. So if you have any questions, guys, it can be about beer, it can be about the podcast, it can be personal, it can yeah. be anything. Like basically get to know us kind yeah. of thing. So yeah, just leave it in the comments. We're gonna say it again in the next episode and then again in the next episode just to remind you guys. And then yeah, whenever you remember to like actually have a question for us, let us know and we'll answer. It would be good if you said like get to know us at the end so we know that it's a question for get to know us. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. No, like just cite they must just cite them. Yeah, yeah. Just be like get to know us and then ask your question. Yeah, so we know how to put them together properly. Insta. Not too sure about that. Yeah, well, we'll ask you guys on Instagram when we do our live as well. You'll just um, reply under the post. Yeah, and then we'll just gather all the questions and then we'll be as honest as possible. If it's personal, I don't know, I, we might omit. But yeah, if no. it's like podcast related, <laughs> we'll be super honest and we'll Always. tell you as much as we know. So yeah, yeah no. do that. So signing off. Yes. Good times. Open minds. <laughs>